Okay, here's a full daylight test. Kind of early morning. Standard super flash planet bike. Kind of your standard one watt device. Uh, beside the uh, 10 watt flasher. So we'll take a trip back and look at the planet bike in the full bright. Okay, so here we are one driveway later. And you might be able to see it. And there's what a 10 watt flasher looks like in the bright daytime. All right, I slowed this section down so you can see that the planet bike is barely visible next to the 10 watt flasher in the full daytime. So this is my favorite shot here. Um, this was really the goal was to create a light with enough output that you could really stand out on a full bright sunshine day. Pretty much just like a EMS vehicle going down the road and the full 10 watts will allow you to do that. So this clip was taken about 30 minutes after sunset with the unit running at full power. This design is ideally run off of a 3 cell lithium ion pack which is nominally 11.1 .1, but you could realistically use any battery down to about 6 volts. At full power the 6 Cree LEDs put out roughly 495 lumens which is more than double the light output of the 240 lumen Dynot 400R tail light. And at night you could definitely argue that this is way too much power. As you can see the intensity is similar to the car headlights coming at the camera. But it's nice to have it if you need it, especially in the daytime. The heart of the light is the Max Flex current controller which thankfully allows you to set up to five power levels in either steady or flashing mode. So you can turn it way down if you're riding in a group or need to conserve power or at nighttime. As I turn around and come back over the hill you can see the combination of the elliptical and spot lenses is putting out a nice beam pattern that's easily viewable from extreme side angles as well. And in the next clip I'll show you a little bit more about that. Now then, let's see what exactly all Okay, so here we are about a quarter of a mile away. High beams, low beams. And we'll take a little drive toward the toward the light. Here's the same thing with the Planet Bike Super Flash. Still visible, but uh, not nearly as prominent. And finally, here's both lights running, and you can't really see the super flash.
one mounting possibility. It's got a little cat eye quick release mount. A little clicky button on the side. Show you the modes. One click, solid. Go up through the power levels. Two, three, four, five. Back down to low power and off. And then press and hold. And you're in the flashy modes for high, all the way down to low. Low, two, three, four, five power levels with the blink. Press and hold all the way down and off. 